I nearly had this all put together and I happened to think of the Whip It Up Wednesday. This is our version of chili. Everybody has one. And this one's almost all put together, but I thought I'd show you a few things before I finished on doing it in the crock pot, but it can be on the stove or in the oven. We nearly always make chili anymore with venison. We also have beef and we also have lamb in the freezer, but we like venison with the, with the chili. And this is venison from our woods. We have someone who hunts it and we get part of, the, of his bounty. Now my secret ingredient for my chili is always a couple of tablespoons of cocoa. It thickens it, it tastes great. And also the jar is empty, but my home canned tomato soup we also add stewed tomatoes, but the tomato soup has allspice and cinnamon, so a little bit of warming spices in there. The other secret ingredient, and I'm using this from the freezer, getting things used up, is squash of some kind or pumpkin mashed. Stirred in, oh my goodness, thickens it. The kids don't know it's in there, so hopefully they're not watching. It just really adds a richness to it. And then I do the cornbread topping for this. So it's some cornbread, egg, cheese, green chilies. And we live in Michigan, so we always use Jiffy. Made right in Chelsea, Michigan. Whatever beans we have on hand. Happen to be pintos and reds. I didn't have any black today. So there's our take on Crock-Pot Chili. And here's the cornbread mixture spread on the top. It sinks a little bit, but then it kind of puffs back up and spreads out. Oh, it's so good. And I wanted to say too, this could easily be a veg vegetarian chili. You could leave the meat out completely, especially with the squash or pumpkin added to it. I'll try to remember to take a picture of it when it's done before we dig in. Oh, look at that bubbling goodness. And it's kind of pulled away from the edge. Now I like mine with a little cheddar and onion on the top and then that's yogurt just to add to the goodness. I don't know, let's see, if you can see, now it's kind of already dissolving some of the cornbread topping. So I'm going to go eat.